Okay, so today I'm going to shoot a video on um, adding coolant to the 2009ZX6R. Whenever I first put the engine in, the used one, uh, I actually put in distilled water and water water, uh, which doesn't actually prevent the freezing um, because it doesn't have any chemicals in to actually uh, help reduce that. It states that it provides no uh, protection against um, basically altering the freezing point. So where I live, it's starting to get colder. So uh, now that I know the engine, you know, good to go uh, with it, I'm going to go ahead and add coolant to it. So I went ahead and drained, which I'll show you in a minute. Um, I took out the screw. This one was already pretty buggered up. So I picked up another one. I'm just going to reuse the um, washer because it's fine. I'm going to clean it up though. Um, so yeah, uh, I went ahead and moved some, removed some of the pieces, which I'll show you in a minute. Put my uh, parts in baggies, um, radiator caps removed. Uh, but I always do this to basically keep everything together. Um, if it's going to be a little while, or I'm pretty sure I'm going to forget where stuff goes, I will label them. Um, but yeah, let's go take a look at the bike. All right, so uh, I went ahead and removed the uh, water pump or uh, screw for the coolant to drain. I did have to remove uh, the lower fairing uh, screw just so I had a little bit better access. Um, so it's all drained here. I did flush it with more distilled water just to make sure that I got all the uh, water water out. Um, I went ahead and removed the panel here that basically covers the radiator cap. Radiator cap typically sits there. So I had to remove some screws here, uh, basically pop the panel out, um, and remove some of the other body panel screws just to have some flexibility. Uh, and here's where I actually fill it up at, or the overflow. Um, so the tricky part's gonna be that I really don't wanna remove the fairing all the way but the way the uh, radiator is positioned, it's going to be kind of a pain in the butt to fill it without making a mess. So I'm trying to decide on that now. Uh, so just bear with me and uh, I'll cut you in here in a minute. Okay, so I just put the... Uh, coolant drain bolt back in. I just snugged it up. It called to be, uh, it calls for 78 inch pounds. Uh, my uh, torque wrench only goes down to 120 inch pounds. So I just snugged it up uh, where I think is going to be a sufficient uh, tightness on that. All right, so a little bit of an update. Let's show you what I did. Um, I had a basically baster. Um, in my garage, basically I keep it, or always had it just in case I needed to like suck some um, brake fluid out of the reservoir or just any other fluids I would need to suck up out of some sort of container. So I rigged it up so that a funnel will go into it. Let me show you. So as you can see, kind of where the light's pointing, I'm gonna pull it away so you can see, but that's where the radiator is. Um, so from there I have the funnel, um, it's going to get the best or the straightest shot that I can get um, in order to uh, fill up the um, radiator. So I'm going to have to take some time um, so I don't overflow and make a mess with the coolant on the floor. But yeah, that's uh, my solution instead of pulling this whole fairing off. The other idea I had was to um, use a piece of, piece of hose um, and uh, basically put it down in there and then put a funnel under the hose but I didn't have any hose that was clean enough for me to use for this so I'm improvising and trying this out see how this works all right so I'm gonna slowly pour some in see uh, how it goes and then maybe adjust this process a little bit if necessary So 
So far, so good. Okay, so I filled up the radiator um, as much as I could, and then I was adding to the overflow, so once it warmed up, it could uh, pull some out of the reservoir. I couldn't see, and I thought I still had room, but obviously I didn't. So, I'm gonna suck a little bit out with the turkey baster now, uh, throw the cap on, um, Throw the radiator on as well, or the radiator, uh, basically pressure cap or cap as well. Um, start it up, let it cycle through the engine, let the engine cool back down, and then uh, keep topping it up and basically burping the air out of the system until uh, it's full. And then I'll obviously uh, make sure this is full, but not over full like it is now. That is the current update. Here is an example of the turkey baster in action. So putting in the overflow and sucking some of it out. I'm gonna throw it in the container since it's still good fluid. And uh, that's probably enough because I can get the cap on without making any more of a mess than I already have. All right, so I have uh, sorted it up once with the radiator cap off. And I, like I said, overfilled the reservoir. Go me. The second time, I uh, basically, after it cooled down, I threw the radiator cap back on. Um, and I started it back up, let it cycle. And now I'm going to let it cool all the way down. In theory, it should suck out the uh, fluid from the reservoir because it's needed. Um, from there, I'm going to pull the radiator cap off the actual radiator and check the level from there um, and then see what else I need to do. So that's the current update. Um, I'm going to run my blower, leaf blower um, on it for a little bit just to help cool it down more quickly. That way I can uh, hopefully get this project buttoned up this evening. Alright, so update. I got all the panels back in. Um, the fairing buttoned up, the rear brake reservoir uh, fastened, rear view mirror back on, I washed the bike up, just did a quick wash. Um, so here's the status, I washed it up um, and fired up the bike, let it dry, let it uh, get up to operating temperature and Basically, what I'm going to do is overnight let it cool down, see if it sucks any of the coolant out of the overflow reservoir, um, and kind of see where we're at. Because it looked like the radiator itself overall was full, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, and basically, I'm going to go from there. So, if that is the case that it is full, um, I'm going to just pull some out of the reservoir. Uh, and basically call it good, you know, cycle it a few times, you know, go for a ride, get it up to operating temperature and let it cool back down. Essentially make sure all of the uh, air bubbles are out and that, you know, it's good to go, essentially. Um, yeah, so that's the current uh, update. Uh, hopefully I'll add a little bit more to this video before I actually post it. Um, but yeah, bike's cleaned up, coolant's in, all the panels are back on. Um, and then next video should be a, uh, a ride. I'm just going to go for basically a fall ride. Um, you know, show you all, uh, basically, uh, a POV of taking it for a ride. Um, after that, I'm probably going to do a oil change on it. Um, I still plan to ride it throughout the winter periodically when the weather's decent, throw on my heated vest, uh, just cause I really do enjoy you know, riding regardless of the season. And from there, uh, upgrades I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do some stainless steel uh, brake lines, both front and rear, basically flush the systems as well. I'm gonna throw on the quick shifter, 
that came on the bike, but I uh, didn't install it whenever I swapped over the new engine, basically because I just wanted to make sure everything was running uh, seamlessly. Um, from there, uh, I got a couple of other um, upgrades I'm planning, uh, sprockets and chain. I'm gonna go down one tooth in the front and just keep the stock uh, rear size, um, you know, uh, just to see basically the performance on that. Um, and then again, I have some, a couple other ideas of what I want to do with the bike, but other than that, just really enjoy it and hopefully do some track days, uh, next year. All right. A little update. Um, so it came out this morning. Uh, I started the bike up after I washed it yesterday and let it get up to like 190 for the radiator to kick on and everything. Anyway, this morning I came out um, and the, the reservoir uh, level did drop. So basically it pulled a vacuum and sucked some up into the radiator, which is awesome. Uh, my plan is to take it for a ride at some point today um, and then see, or let it cool back down um, and see if it does it again uh, and kind of see where we're at um, from there. There's still some in the reservoir. I'm gonna go ahead and suck it out. It's just a little bit. It looks a bit, looks to be about two inches above the full mark. Um, so yeah, we'll see how that goes. Okay, so as you can see from the um, riding clips I um, have in this video, I just went for a ride, obviously, and the temperature outside is around 60 degrees. Um, temperature on the bike stayed fine when I got home. However, I let it uh, warm up until it got to 190, which is when the fan kicks on on this bike, like 188, 190, somewhere in there. Um, and I let it run and run and run. It was basically went up to 193 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, and it could only get it to drop to like 192. So that tells me there is definitely air in the radiator or in the system. Um, so now I'm going to let it cool down, um, and hopefully suck some uh, out of the reservoir. And then what I'll need to do is pop the radiator, uh, cap itself off. Um, that way any of the air will be at the top and I can always add some um, fluid to the radiator itself um, and that should help it out um, but we'll see um, how it goes I guess I'll need to do a couple more rides to see if I get all the air out of the system uh, and I will keep you all updated all right so I don't think it's gonna bleep itself I was hopeful that it would, but it's not. So I'm going to pull all these panels off um, and then pull off the, you can't see it, radiator cap. See if there's any, uh, if it's pressurized, um, basically add it to the system from there um, and go from there. So that's where I'm at. Okay, so I topped off everything and just started it up. Apparently, I thought I knew better than everybody else, and I just kept adding fluid to the radiator. Which, in theory, seems like a fantastic idea. But, essentially, I just ended up making a big mess. Um, so, let the bike warm up to operating temperature. Shut it off, and now I'm letting it cool down. I think I'm at 160 at 162 degrees so it's gonna take a while for it to cool down in theory after that it'll basically suck uh, coolant out of the reservoir and then I'll top it up again um, let it run um, and do this a few times and cycle it um, and then I'll squeeze the hoses and uh, tilt the bike back and forth um, basically to get all the air bubbles out so it's kind of a time-consuming process um, and for me, it was a very messy one. So when I'm done with this, I'm going to have to give the bike a good thorough wash and get all the antifreeze, um, out from all the crevices and off the fairings and tire and everything else. So yeah, 
step one is done. Now we just got to do this a few times and uh, should be good to go. All right, so finally, I did end up having to pull this trim piece uh, to access the radiator. The radiator itself, basically the core was low. So I added to it uh, basically to get all the air out. And then the extra that was in the overflow, I took it out so it's at the full mark. Um, I started it up and let it run. Uh, it actually got up to temperature and then when the fan kicked on, it actually pulled uh, the heat away. So it wasn't doing that earlier, meaning there was air in the system. Um, but after I you know, did all that, um, it did uh, basically, I guess, get the rest of the air out of the system so it's not pushing through and causing any issues. Uh, so that's a win. Um, I need to wash the bike up now though because I made a mess. But uh, I did rinse it all off at least. Um, so maybe tomorrow I'll get it washed up and I do plan on taking taking it for a ride again. Um, so yeah, that is the update. So coolant system uh, has been flushed, distilled water out, and I put Maxima coolant all in the system for the winter time. Uh, so now I don't have to worry about uh, basically any um, below freezing temperatures uh, causing any issues. So stick around. The next uh, video will probably be a riding video or it'll be changing the oil. Thanks for watching.